I really made a conscious effort to like look into all of my little daily habits and try to come up with some things that I could change to make my life better. I'm gonna tell you what they were. Yeah. So like one of the things that you guys seem to like about my channel and my advice that I give is that I'm very calm. <laughs> I have a very calm voice and way about me and I'm very practical when I talk about things and I don't get very excited. But when it comes to like health related stuff and fitness related stuff, it's very easy for me to get annoyed <laughs> and it's very easy for me to get fired up. So before that happens, I'm going to talk about me personally and kind of like the journey that I've been on and the update of that. And I'm going to do it very quickly because I have other videos about it. So about five months ago or so, I posted the first video where I talked about all of the things that I decided to do in order to feel better about myself and get my energy back and feel like fit again. So the main focus for me was that okay, I'm 39 or I'm 30, turning 39 this week actually, on Friday, in like a couple of days, happy birthday to me. Um, I'm turning 39, I have a couple of kids. I was always an active person. I only work part time, I do YouTube, I have all of these hobbies. So it seems like I'm really busy, but I'm really not that busy. And I was just exhausted all the time. So I was exhausted all the time, unmotivated. I wasn't as happy as I was. I felt kind of down in the dumps. I was sleeping too much. I just felt like bleh. So I really made a conscious effort to like look into all of my little daily habits and try to come up with some things that I could change to make my life better. I'm gonna tell you what they were. Um, I got off my friggin' cell phone. I took my social media apps off of my cell phone I still have Facebook, I still have Instagram, I can use my desktop for that. And if I have to make an Instagram post, I will like log into Instagram on my phone, like through the browser and go through all of that and put in my password and all that and make a post. Like let's say I have to advertise for my spin class or something. I got rid of Snapchat, I don't have TikTok, I just have Instagram and Facebook. Two things, that's pretty good. And like I said, I, it's just not like right there in my hand all the time on my cell phone. And it took me a little while to adjust to it, but now that I have gotten a handle on it and my screen time has gone down so much, I just feel this huge difference in my life and how much energy I have and how much time I have. So I did that. I stopped drinking coffee first thing in the morning. As soon as I wake up, I started drinking it at around like lunchtime. I started drinking more water. I cut down on my alcohol consumption greatly. I know this video is going to sound windy, but that's okay. It's outside. It's fresh. It's, it's part of the vibe of the video. Um, but I cut down on my alcohol consumption like greatly to, to the point that I drank alcohol once in the last seven months and I planned on it. I actually went to see a funk cover band with my stepmom who is one of the only people that I know who loves to dance as much as I do. And I wanted to get a buzz on, like shame on me. <laughs> I just really wanted to have a few drinks. Not that I can't dance if I'm sober, I can. And I will, but I just felt like it. So that to me was worth it. I had a great time. And then I went back to like eliminating, eliminating alcohol. So I don't like drink alcohol with meals. If I'm going out and being social with my friends, like having dinner, which I don't do very often, let's be honest. but. I don't just like consume little bits of alcohol like on a daily basis and I don't drink every weekend. I was drinking every single weekend just out of habit. Even if Jeff and I were just home or having people over the pool or whatever, I was just constantly every Saturday or every sometimes every Friday and Saturday drinking. And it's just way too many calories, not good for your health. So I got rid of that. So cell phone, limited caffeine, drinking more water, no alcohol. Oh, and I started exercising again. So I started exercising again, um, and I talk about what I've been doing in my videos, um, my other videos. I've been doing like at-home workouts that are like a half hour. The channel's called Growing Ananas, and I'm gonna link it here. I'm still doing them, I'm still going strong. Love her channel. I've been doing a lot of her flexibility videos. So I've been doing 
at home workouts that are a half hour long in my own house like four days a week and teaching spinning once or twice a week. Sometimes I walk my dog if I don't feel like doing a video and I really feel like Kyle needs to get out. Um, but that's been like my fitness routine. It's been awesome and I lost a bunch of weight which is secondary. It's definitely secondary to how I feel. That being said, I did post a video where I talked about losing 30 pounds, right? So in that video or on that video, my thumbnail is very strategically a picture of me after I had Hank, he was about a year old, sitting in a chair and like I like just, it's like really unflattering. And then there's a picture of me now standing up and I, my shirt's kind of pulled up and you can see that I kind of have like a little bit of abs. The point of me making these videos is not to try to influence you guys to lose weight, but nobody is gonna watch my videos when the titles are just like, how I got healthy, how I got more energy, how I started exercising on a regular basis. Um, for whatever reason, and I'm not talking about you specifically, if you're watching this, because maybe you do care, but most people don't care. They only care about what I look like or what you look like or if they're gonna lose weight. People's fitness is judged on what their body looks like, and that is so wrong. I have competed in figure competitions at the time in my life that I looked the most fit, I looked like a gym shark athlete, sorry to brag, I looked like a superhero, I had a six pack, I looked amazing. I was not in as good shape as I am right now. Right now I could go and run probably a half marathon. Right now I could go, I don't know, I teach spinning classes that are 45 minutes long. They are so intense that when I'm done, I'm just all like salt and boogers. Like I'm in such good shape right now. I feel so strong, I feel so great. And I look pretty good, but I don't look that good. But I feel a hundred times better. So that's the point. If I am going to be an influencer and like influence people to try some of these things I'm trying, I want to influence people to be healthy. And Let's talk about food a little bit because I'm shooting a like what I ate video today. I'm talking really loud because I'm excited and it's windy and it doesn't sound that windy to me but I know it's going to be windy to you. So I'm going to do like a what I ate video and the reason I'm shooting it is because I'm just so sick of watching fitness related videos or diet related videos of people promoting these stupid diets. <laughs> right, La? Yeah. And sometimes in person and underneath my videos when I was talking about the things I was eating and my exercise routine and losing weight, I got, oh, hair in my mouth, I got a bunch of comments on the video and in person from like people I know and coworkers and whatever saying, oh well, I did keto and I didn't have to exercise and I lost a bunch of weight or I cut out all sugar and all carbohydrates from my diet and I lost a bunch of weight and I didn't have to exercise. And I'm just like, you're missing the point. Exercising is healthy. That is the whole point. The whole point isn't just to lose weight and I hate to break it to you, but yeah, you lost the weight. Did you put it back on? Yeah. Or you're still on that keto diet. Are you gonna stay on it for the rest of your life? Probably not. Wouldn't you wanna do things that are subtle and incorporate them into your lifestyle and exercise and stretch and feel really strong and feel really good and set a good example, you know, like for your family and move your body and feel awesome and have a ton of energy, right? Wouldn't you rather do that? Wouldn't you rather focus on that? And like there's so much stuff in the media about having a positive body image and I, I didn't want to get into that or this in this video at all because this video is already too long and I'm going to rant again. But I find it's like conflicting information. Like basically people are saying like live your life, eat whatever you want, like be healthy at any size, any shape, any whatever. And, and you know what? I think that anything that normalizes having a normal body type 
or like I'm so sick of watching commercials and having the only people that are doing like these activities, fitness activities, look like models and look like Gymshark models. Like that is so dated and so old and archaic and stupid. Like I hate all of that. I love that we're seeing women with all different body shapes in advertisements. I'm obsessed with it. I'm obsessed with, I, I can't even think of her channel name, the bird's papaya, showing that like they are women, they have stretch marks, they have, you know, like bikini line stubble and, and all of these things and that is so normal and not to be obsessed with that. I'm so happy about all of that, but like as a side note to that, I think what's really important is that like, yes, you shouldn't be obsessed with your body in, a, in an unhealthy way. So like not everybody should feel like they need to have like a big arse and like a tiny little waist and like big boobs and a thigh gap and all of this stuff. It's just so ridiculous and I can't believe that the media has got gotten away with like just pushing this on people for so long. Um, but I also don't think that being like really overweight and eating whatever you want and not thinking of your general overall health and fitness, I just don't think that should be like glorified. And a lot of companies do a really good job of saying, love yourself, love your body, exercise, do all of these things. Like fitness clothing companies are showing people with all different body sizes, which I think helps encourage people that are really overweight and say like, these clothes are made for you, the gym is for you, yoga is for you, it's for everybody. It's not just for these stick skinny models and these people with the big arse and the thigh gap and all that, right? So I agree with all that. What am I trying to get at? But I also think that too much emphasis is put on the appearance of your body and not on the inside of your body. So I actually think it's okay to be obsessed with your body. I think it's okay to like kind of figure out how many calories a day is healthy for you to eat to maintain like a relatively healthy body weight. and to like see if you can attain that. Maybe you need to see a nutritionist or see a healthcare professional in order to do that. But I think that's okay. I think it's okay to be obsessed with your body and not want to eat a whole lot of fatty foods because you're thinking about your arteries. I think it's okay to be obsessed with your body and want to exercise and do things and be a healthy body weight so that it's really good for your joints and for your longevity and just for your overall health and your happiness, right? So I really think that we've come a long way, but I also think that we need to keep pushing fitness, being fit, following a healthy diet. Not a stupid diet, the keto and the no carbs and the Atkins diet and the friggin' paleo diet and the like intermittent fasting, there is like benefits to that. I'm just not interested in that. I'm not interested in going for long periods of time without eating. It's just not for me. It's just not. Maybe there's some health benefits. I don't know. It's just, just not for me. But a lot of the diets are so stupid and I'm just so sick of it. Nobody's going to listen to my diet advice because it is not cool or sexy and you kind of have to be strategic and plan ahead and stuff like that. So that's why I have to pit post pictures of myself like looking frumpy and then with a six pack in order to get somebody to watch my video because nothing that I say <laughs> is very exciting or fun. I will say this, I should come up with my own diet. I should come up with a diet where you just eat 1300 calories of Oreo cookies and ice cream every day. It's the Oreo cookie and ice cream diet. You eat 1,300 calories. You could even throw in some, you know, five cent candies or chips or whatever in there as long as you're only eating 13, maybe to 1,500 calories a day because you'd lose a ton of weight, right? So that's a wicked diet. Curly Susie diet. She eats friggin' chocolate all day, 13 calories a day, and you still lose weight. Like, doesn't that sound awesome? I did the Curly Susie chocolate diet and I didn't even have to exercise. It's wicked. I feel awesome. Like I look like my skin is gray and 
I like have no energy and I feel like I'm dying, but like look how skinny I am. My legs don't touch when I stand with my feet shoulder width apart. My, my thighs don't touch. It's awesome.